goofy historians is the funnest place to learn about history? Or is it the funniest? Again, we gotta get a real Pope, right? Who's like holy, right? Like, uh, you know, like the Dalai Lama or something, right? You need to get something holy, right? Instead of these worldly Popes. And so they did, they, they got this guy called Pius II, right? Which is or Pius IV, you know? And what you don't want is any Pope named Pius, right? Because they're gonna be uh, entitled holier than now, right? And that's what he did. He pretty much shut down. He was gonna, oh, <laughs> so all these people always talk about going back on crusades, right? But nobody wants to go on crusades anymore, right? So Pius IV goes, no, nah, no, nah, we're gonna, we kind of have to go take, have to go fight the Muslims again because they're Muslims and we don't like them and we're gonna go fight them. So he calls a crusades to go fight the Muslims and this time in, in the Ottoman Turks. And he goes to Venice and nobody shows up for his crusade. And then he gets all depressed and then he dies. So he was only a Pope for like less than four weeks, right? And the theory goes that it's probably actually Julius II that had him poisoned, right? Because he spent all this time waiting to get through the Borgia Popes. Now he has to sit through Julius and a crusade. Goofy Historians is the funnest place to learn about history. Or is it the funniest? Does history repeat itself? Eh, not really. But sometimes it kind of rhymes. <laughs>